Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 7th, 2020. We've been having some pretty heavy messages, but we can handle it. That's why it's coming up and let's just get into it. So for today, oh nice. Okay, so we have Rotocrosite, remember your worth. You know what? The past few days, ha there's been a lot, I can't tell in the viewfinder. I have this, looks like it's crooked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so... For the past few days, we've been getting a lot of messaging around a societal sickness, this broken empathy. And that broken empathy can then manifest in a lot of different ways. And as I, you know, I'll repeat today, you know, I've always been telling people, educate yourselves. What is histrionic personality disorder? I'm no expert, so that's why I say, go to the experts. What is histrionic personality disorder? What is narcissism? What is covert narcissism? What defines antisocial personality disorder, which as an aside, I don't like that label for it because it makes it sound cute. It makes it sound like, oh, they're just not feeling like being around people today. I don't know, but <laughs> we need to start focusing our energy and educating ourselves and understanding this because uh, you know, this isn't so that you can diagnose people or judge people or suppose that you know things about them. Because I've been standing right in front of a covert narcissist, for example, and been talking about other covert narcissists. And all the covert narcissist did was get defensive. And next thing I know, this person pretty much knew that they couldn't feed off of me and went scrambling away. So, again, check with experts <laughs> about how to handle situations like that. I am not a psychologist. I'm not an expert in this area. I'm just somebody who has been a survivor of narcissistic abuse. And as an empath, this gets taken advantage of quite a bit. And I believe I said a couple of days ago, it makes it really easy then for covert narcissists to feed off of you, right? So it's this whole, this is what's going to be coming up, guys. Again, it might take a few years for people to actually catch on and wake up to it, but it's this thing of, if I make you feel really bad about yourself, subtly, I can feed off of that negative emotion. That's what the narcissist would say, right? And so there are these constant digs to put you down so that they feel uh, empowered. And, you know, again, this is sort of what really happens a lot with empathetic people. Because we come here, we want to help. We want to serve in this way. And then we hit this, you know, let's get philosophical. Where are we? <laughs> We're on my channel. Let's do this. Um, <laughs> we hit up on uh, this thing, a sense of like, you know, I know this is what my purpose is. I know I'm supposed to be here to help. But when I try, it, it ends up being a negative experience. Okay. Because one of the things I want to talk about about rhodochrosite, it's a love crystal. It is a love crystal. But it's like a recovery type thing. So this is heartbreak. This is, and please don't just go to one relationship. I mean, I know there might be one that's like right at the forefront of your mind <laughs> and that's cool. But, um, you know, for this message today, try to go a little bit further. Where is all the real heartbreak? Maybe you are a narcissist watching this channel. I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You think I don't have narcissists? I bet a big portion of my audience would have some form of narcissism or histrionic personality disorder or even sociopaths. You know, some of, some of these uh, trolls that have come and I've blocked them, they go on complete rampages trying to destroy me. I see it. I see exactly what's going on, <laughs> right? And I can do nothing but sit back and just take care of myself. But why would a lot of narcissists uh, come to this channel? Well, uh, a covert narcissist who's posing as a spiritual person would say something to the effect of, well, if you're attracting narcissists, then you are one yourself. Nice try. Narcissists come here because they love hearing about themselves. Oh yes. That's why they love astrological reports. That's why, <laughs> that's why they love tarot readings. Fellow readers out there, fellow empaths who are readers, I know you know what I'm talking about here. They want to hear about themselves. And yet, we can't help but love, right? And that's what, what Rotocrosite really talks about. We can't help but love. So can we strike a balance here? It says, remember your worth. Can we strike a balance here 
between understanding our worth and loving, but not allowing someone to take a piece of us. That's what we're trying to figure out. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.